As our planet gets hotter, we need to find better ways of adapting to extreme weather. The latest science shows that nature can provide the best defences against climate change impacts, including heat waves, drought and rising sea levels. Here's how. As the ice caps melt, sea levels are rising. Many major cities are already threatened by flooding and erosion. Now, we can try to fight this with expensive projects like building seawalls, but there's often a more holistic and cheaper solution. Nature. For example, planting mangrove forests defends against coastal flooding and storm surges. Mangroves weaken the strength of the waves, which stops the shoreline from crumbling into the sea. Coral reefs also provide flood defences by breaking big waves and absorbing their energy before they hit the shore. It's predicted there will be more and more heat waves in the years to come. In fact, it's already happening. But we have a major problem in the way we try to keep cool. Our air conditioning systems use tons of fossil fuels, which only makes the problem worse. While our houses stay cool, the planet doesn't. But again, nature has an answer. Bringing nature into cities can help keep the temperature down. Trees release water through their leaves, just like we cool down by sweating. And urban lakes and rivers also help keep temperatures low. And by using nature, we get extra benefits. Green spaces filter toxic air pollution. They can be used for recreation and they're beautiful. Drought is a major impact of climate change and scientists predict it will become even more common in the years to come. This is a major problem, especially in poorer parts of the world where many people still rely on rain for farming. But trees and wetlands act like sponges, absorbing water and recharging groundwater supplies. So when we cut down trees, droughts get worse because rain flushes straight through the soil instead of being stored for times of need. But when we keep our forests, lakes and rivers healthy, then we're also protecting our water supplies. Coastal erosion, heat waves and drought are just some of the climate impacts that can be tackled using nature. This nature-based approach is called ecosystem-based adaptation, restoring and protecting ecosystems to help people adapt to climate change. But the really amazing thing about ecosystem-based adaptation is that it protects both people and planet. When we use nature to defend ourselves from climate change, we also create space for plants and animals to flourish. A lot of environmental news can be pretty bleak. From starving polar bears to melting ice caps and disappearing forests, it can be hard not to focus on what's going wrong. But ecosystem-based adaptation is about focusing on what we gain, not on what we lose. Today, there's no need to choose between nature or people. Now, it's nature for people.